So in today's video, we are going to continue our lesson on vectors. We are going to learn how to add vectors using the triangular law of vector addition. Now, if you are new here, consider subscribing to this channel, like this video and share this video to all your friends. Now let's consider two vectors intersecting at a common point. So assuming that this is point A, we have a vector acting along this line to point B. And then also we have another vector acting along this line to point C. If the vector acting along AB is A and the vector acting along BC is B, then the third side of the triangle represents the resultant of the two vectors, that is vector A plus vector B. And this leads us to what we call the triangular law of vector addition, which states that when two vectors are represented as two sides of a triangle with the order of magnitude and direction, then the third side of the triangle represents the magnitude and direction of the resultant vector. So if you want to move from point A to point B through to point C, then it is the same as moving from point A through to point C. Thus, vector AC is equal to vector AB plus vector BC. Again, notice that the end point of vector A happens to be the starting point of vector B. The end point of vector A happens to be the starting point of vector B. Now, given that vector A is equal to x1i plus y1j and then vector b is also equal to x2i plus y2j then the resultant vector vector a plus vector b is equal to x1 plus x2 in a bracket times i plus y1 plus y2 in the bracket times j so this is the resultant vector so basically if you want to find the resultant vector you are going to add the x and y components of the vectors involved now let's try some examples example one if vector a b is equal to 2i plus 6j and vector b c is equal to negative i plus 5j find the resultant of the vectors we have i vector a b plus vector b c and then i i 2 times vector a b minus 3 times vector b c let's try this example together so for i we are going to find the resultant of the vectors vector a b plus vector b c so basically, we are going to add the x and y components of the two vectors. So this is equal to, we have vector AB to be 2i plus 6j plus we have vector BC to be negative i plus 5j. So let's simplify this. We are going to have 2i plus 6j minus i plus 5j now we can add or subtract like things so we have 2i minus i which is i and then we have 6j plus 5j which is 11j so this is the resultant of the two vectors vector a b and vector b c now let's solve for i i so for i i we are going to find the resultant of the vectors 2 times vector AB minus 3 times vector BC. So 2 and negative 3 are basically scalars. So we are going to multiply each scalar by the x and y component of the vector. So we have 2 times the vector AB is 2i plus 6j minus 3 times 
BC is negative I plus 5J. Now let's multiply across. 2 times 2I is 4I. 2 times 6J is 12J. We have negative 3 times negative 1I. So that is plus 3I. And then negative 3 times 5J is negative 15J. Now we can add and subtract like things. So 4i plus 3i is 7i. And then we have 12j minus 15j, which is negative 3j. So this is the resultant vector of 2ab minus 3bc. Now let's take our second example. If vector pq is equal to negative i plus 3j, and vector rq is negative 5i minus 8j. Find the vector pr. Find the vector pr. Now to solve this question, we are going to use the triangular law of vector addition. From the question, we have three points. We have point p, point q, and then point r. So vector pq starts from point p, through to point Q. And then vector QR starts from point Q and ends at point R. Therefore, the vector PR is from point P to R. So this is the resultant vector PR. Therefore, vector PR is equal to the vector pq plus qr. Notice that the end point of vector pq happens to be the starting point of vector qr. Now let's find the vector pr. So from the question, we are given the vector pq, however we don't have the vector qr. Instead, we have the vector rq. Now for vector RQ, that is acting opposite to the vector QR. Vector QR is acting this way, and then we have vector RQ acting this way. Now these two vectors, QR and then RQ, are negative vectors. Negative vectors are vectors with the same magnitude, but they only differ in direction. They act along opposite directions. Now to find QR, we say that QR is equal to negative of rq so we have negative of rq vector rq is negative 5i minus 8j therefore vector qr is equal to 5i plus 8j now we can find the vector pr which happens to be the resultant vector So from this relation, vector PR is equal to PQ, which is negative I plus 3J plus vector QR, which is 5I plus 8J. Negative I plus 5I is 4I and then 3J plus 8J is 11J. So this happens to be the resultant vector PR. Now let's solve the third example. If vector AB is 2, 4 and vector AC is 3, negative 1, find the vector BC. If vector AB is 2, 4 and vector AC is 3, negative 1, find the vector BC. We are going to use the triangular law of vector addition to solve this problem. So we have vector AB. So assuming this is point A and this is point B, then we have the vector AB acting along this line. We have vector BC acting this way from point B to point C. And this happens to be the resultant vector, vector AC. 
So from the triangular law of vector addition, we say that the vector AC, which is the resultant vector, is equal to the vector AB plus vector BC. Now in the question, we are asked to find the vector BC. So we are going to transpose vector AB to the left hand side. So that's going to be vector AC minus vector AB equals vector BC. So we have vector BC to be equal to vector AC is 3 negative 1 minus vector AB is 2 4. So we can treat this as a single vector. This becomes 3 minus 2 and then negative 1 minus 4. So finally, we have the vector BC to be 1, negative 5.